All right, let's take you back to the Mabato Stadium now in the northwest, and this is where the Democratic Alliance has raised concerns over the poor state of that stadium in Mahigeng. It's been closed for some time for concerns over safety, but it will host the scores of fans early next month for the hashtag Mabato Stadium event. Now, Refilwe Seboko is at the stadium and she joins us now. Refilwe, uh, so the last time we spoke to you, you had that conversation with the, the DA representative. I know you're going to speak to the people that will likely attend this event on the 3rd of December. What is likely to greet them when they arrive there? Well, Polly, let me show you. I'm going to just get out of short. You remember that also um, the Democratic Alliance has also said that during their oversight, uh, they have seen that there were no, some parts of the general seats are dilapidated, the pitch sports lights are not working. And remember that during our crossing, I showed you one of the sports lights, which it said we have recently caught fire and the fire extinguisher were just there. But right now we are at the restrooms or toilets and the gen side of the toilets and this is also one of the concerns raised by the Democratic Alliance to the hygiene of people that will be using these toilets. The situation here is bad. I'm going to just get out of short so that Zulake can walk around and show you the state of the Mabato Stadium right now which is that which the Democratic, the Democratic Alliance are complaining about and we did uh, also see the state here. It is calls for concern, the issue of safety of the attendees and everybody else that will be coming to the Mamatu Stadium to attend uh, this uh, event. And also, uh, they were saying that they had wrote to the Department of Arts and Culture in the Northwest Province, MEC, uh, to raise their concerns and they are expecting uh, to, 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 be, to be taken into confidence about the necessary safety checks and assessment that will be done here in the Mabatu Stadium. But I think you can see for yourself, Polly, the state at which the Mabatu Stadium is in. Given the permission by the management of the stadium to, uh, for us having done the application to access this facility, Facility so that we can show what really the situation is like clearly. They also wrote to the Democratic, the Democratic Alliance in the Northwest Province to uh, the mayor of, uh, executive mayor of Mahigeng, it's Hepi Sompetho, to also ensure the necessary safety checks that will be done uh, in this stadium before that uh, event on the 3rd of December will be hosted here. I think uh, this will also, also maybe just show them the you know, the extent at which Mabatu Stadium is in what needs to be done clearly, uh, the safety, the hygiene as currently where we are, these visuals that you are seeing together with our viewers, it's the gents' uh, uh, toilets and also when we're talking to uh, Mr. Rabotapi earlier to say the state of this building, it's not... Um, it, it, it's not a nice sight to, to witness. They were really shocked to what they saw when they did their oversight uh, visit last week. We also saw... Um Holy, you know that stadiums like this are having uh, the entrances, various entrances together with exits and stuff like that for people who will be coming and attend uh, this event. But I'm just also going to just walk around and also go outside these toilets and show you some parts of, uh, the, uh, some parts of the stadium that the Democratic Alliance have raised their concerns about in terms of the safety and amongst other things. You remember that when you talked to Mr. Rabotapi, he said that we know that the young people are the ones that will be coming to attend this event and seeing that after they have you know drank something stronger than juice they get to you know be rebellious and therefore it is also of their concerns these grandstands we are just under one of their grand, the grandstands and that they are saying that as much as this stadium is of a capacity of 59,000 but the grandstand will be also accommodating more attendees of the event and, and this 
this is just also one of their concerns to say uh, this building, had it been maintained, that we wouldn't be seeing what we are seeing now. And for it to be now having not been used for quite some time, is it really safe to host such a big event like fill up? You know that uh, Casper has had this um, fill up in Royal Buffalo King, also in the Northwest Province, amongst others. We've seen uh, fill up FMB Stadium, amongst others. But now he's taking it home, like he said, did mention to say that he's going to fill up Mabatu Stadium. Also, let me just get out of shot to show you what is also one of the exit points to this um, Mabatu Stadium and the, the state at which the Democratic Alliance was talking about to say it is of great concern that, you know, as much as an event like this that will be held on the 3rd of December is expected to bring a significant boost to the local economy, the DA, the DA is saying that they are very concerned by the state in which they have found and also that which we are seeing as Newsroom Africa, the state at which Mabato Stadium uh, is in right now. I think to your question, Koli, this is what those that will be coming to attend this event are uh, most, most likely to see when they come here. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we also saw the maintenance that is happening to the grass outside. And the preparations of, for the 3rd of December uh, is the Department of Arts and Culture in the Northwest Province will take this as an opportunity for them to be able to work and make sure that safety measures are being uh, addressed. Will the Executive Mayor of Mahike and Tepiso Mpeto also use this uh, to see the state at which the Mabatu Stadium is in and what is it that they need to work on. I think that leaves, uh, we, we, we wait to see what is their response, what their response will be to the Democratic Alliance who say that they wrote to the MEC uh, of Qatar in the Northwest Province. They've also wrote to the Mayor of Mahikeng uh, to say that these are their concerns and they want them to address them. You heard Ndatara Botapi earlier saying that they have uh, submitted to those requests uh, but they have not got any permission. So I think we just wait to see what exactly is going to happen 17 days before that event happens. And this is the state at which the stadium is at. And these are some of the concerns as some people, together with the DA in the Northwest Province, are having about uh, the, the attendees and the safety of those that will come to attend the Philip uh, event. Thank you very much for that update and a crucial question, therefore. I think it's about probably a week or two to go before the 3rd of September. Will that stadium be ready to accommodate the fans that are going to descend there? Uh, I'm, I'm worried about whether or not this can be sorted out before then. Refira Subogo, let me thank you very much and uh, apologies to you, our viewers, if you were having your breakfast.